Okay, let's see how to convert this into a proper quad topology. So these are simple shape and joint, and I'm gonna go to sculpt mode. And if you don't see any face set like this, just go to face sets, initialize by loose parts. So now we have three of them. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remesh them like so. And I don't need this bottom part, so what I'm gonna do is with this mesh filter, I'm gonna smooth this out like so. So it's not faceted anymore. And this thing is the bottom is now smooth, so I'm gonna trim this. There we go. We no longer have bottom. And with the mesh filter, if I select relax face sets and I smooth this out, it's gonna ruin the bottom because it's an end gone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo, hide this with H by mouse hovering over this one, and then try to relax the face set. So now if I click and drag, see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhide. Sometimes it doesn't show. So go to object mode and go back to sculpt mode, there it is. And now if I go to face sets, face it to materials, there we go with materials and X and Y both because this is a symmetrical object. So, and now I'm gonna select like 2,500, 2,500 or maybe less. So let's do half of this, so 1250. If I hit remesh, and there we go. A nice squat topology for a dome. So I hope this helps. And if you're using subdivision, it's gonna collapse. So either add the supporting loops or just use edge crease like so and done. So hope this helps.